Hello everyone, welcome. In this three-part tutorial series, we will learn to separate build environments in our Flutter applications. In the first part, we will learn to set up development and production version of our application with different configs each in dark side. In the second and third part, we will learn to set up Android flavors and iOS schemas so that we can use separate firebase configurations for development and production versions of our application. All the code required for this tutorial is available in my GitHub repository. The link I have shared in the description below. The master branch will consist of the starting code for the part one. And part one branch consists the code for the completion of the part one of the tutorial. Let's get started with the first part. Here, I have created a new Flutter project and done some housekeeping. I have separated the home page widget to a separate page and organized files into folders. Based on the build flavor, we want different config that holds our app title, title for our app by in the home page and also a text inside a column in the home page so that we get a clear understanding of how to make different configurations for different flavors of our application. So let us create a configuration object first. For that I have created a resources folder and inside that I have created app configured file. And in that I have imported meta package and I have made a class app config. So let's list out the things we want. Final is string app title app title and build flavor. For that I'd like to create a constructor and let's make this a named parameter and each of these are required attribute. So this is our configuration object. In order for us to be able to access app, app configuration from anywhere in our app, we need to convert this into a inherited wizard. So for that, first import material from Flutter and then extend our app from inherit app config from inherited wizard. After that, we need to implement a function called update should notify which for now we just return false because our app configuration will not change in the build time. Next, we need a child. We need to pass a child inside our inherited wizard so that we can wrap our app with the inherited wizard. Final child. So let's add that as a required attribute. And finally, we need to implement a static off function so that we can access app config from anywhere. So this is our inherited wizard. Finally, we need to create two different main files for our two different flavors. So let us create that. Let's create main underscore dev dot dart and also main underscore pro dot dart. Let us first set up main underscore dev. This will contain our main function. So let us first import material package then also import our app config and also import our main file which contains our main app so let us make a main function void main inside this let us create our app config is equals to 
app config app title is flutter flavor stiff as this is the development flavor and build flavor is development and child is my app okay and finally we return run app configured app similarly i've also set up main underscore production where the build flavor is production and app title is flutter flavors in the main dot dot file let us remove the main function as we'll not be using this anymore and in place of this title now what we can do is we can access our title from app config so for that we need to import our app config and in here what we can do is instead of flutter flavors we can do app config of context dot app title similarly in the my home page here also let us import our app config resources app config and in our app bar instead of flutter favors here app config of context dot app title finally in here we add a new text that says are running dollar of context dot build flavor flavor after the setup is done we can run the different flavor of app using flutter run command so to run our dev flavor we can do flutter run dash t l i b slash main dev dot dot after this building is finished our application will run and we can see our application title as flutter flavors dev in our app and we can also see you are running development flavor in the body of our application similarly we can run the production version by using same code instead of main underscore dev we can use main underscore pro dot dot and once this finishes building we can s the app launches and we can see that our application now has the title flutter flavors and we can see in the body you are running the production flavor in this first part of the series we learned how to set up development flavor in the dart side and provide different application configuration based on our flavor we can use this same technique to provide many other application configurations like api url and database name and much other stuff that we would like to change based on our development flavor in the next two videos we'll be learning how to set up flavors in native side android both android and ios so that we can use different configuration files, native configuration files like Firebase configurations and so on. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like my tutorial, like, subscribe and share so that I'll keep making more of these videos.